Hey there, Macmaca. Uh, just a uh, game changer. So, just observation. First thing first, your stats very good. Uh, your attack stats, by the way, I don't think I've seen anything like it. 90 odd percent uh, success rate on that. Uh, you have a very very selective or absolutely awesome, uh, but either way, it's uh, it's all good. Uh, if you look at your PVP rating as well, as you've got the three thousand and odd on your board, uh, which would suggest that uh, your defense will automatically struggle because um, harder people will be hitting you back. Um, so. 39% I think it was is about bang on the money so I wouldn't worry uh, over over much on that um, but there's always room for improvement everything is in this game now uh, first thing first to have a little look at is you've got no protection from the back here if I wanted to use my M270s or mortarmen or any of the other up and over type sort of uh, methods I would have quite a lot of cover uh, and be able to hit your barracks, hit that um, first of your machine guns and like the secondary machine guns and your um, power plant without being hit. Uh, and then the next problem I would see is that behind those, so once they're gone, you've got nothing really that would cause me any problem because real guns for me, the range is quite short in essence. If you click on that, um, most but we uh, vehicles that I'm going to certainly use the um, the Zeus, the M two seventies, GMLRS, uh, and the others um, aren't going to be um, an issue. Um, so I'm not a massive railgun fan personally, uh, but it is down to preference uh, really. But I generally find I can outrange them or use that attack method where you zoom in, zoom out, and things on that sort of line. Very rare that I uh, would be uh, in range of one long enough. Do like the fact that your war factor is in the middle because that makes it very difficult to get to. But I would just observe that your mines are all in the middle of your base. Uh, number one, that makes your base bigger, so it pushes your walls out, which uh, obviously gives you a bigger footprint, which isn't necessarily a good thing. But also, as well, chances are I'm going to kick your ass before um, I hit your mines. So I would be putting your mines more outside your base personally. I do get why they're inside, but you know, chances are, you know, well, if they're inside your base, it's it's kind of game over. Um, I'd be trying to stop people getting in the base, uh, you know, personally. So I would have a look at that. Um, I think the thing I would ask you to improve the most, if you look at the way that you're placing your um, your buildings, um, if you will. Now, you possibly don't uh, uh, know this, but you can get two and a half squares between each one of these buildings and still get no spawn zone between them. More than two and a half, you'll get a little slither of spawn where people can actually um, get in, a little bit sort of like that, for example, because uh, the gap there is a little bit big. So if you adjust um, all your base um, buildings um, and set them out uh, further back, so allow for your two and a half squares from your wall, and then your buildings, and another two and a half squares, and a building, things like that, you should be able to get your spawn zones really far pushed out. Um, I mean, if you want to have a look at my base, for example, uh, you'll see uh, what that does. And what, what the idea then is that they're going to spawn quite far out, and then that means they've got to travel to your base. Meanwhile, that gives chance for your uh, war factory to, to get the people out, and your uh, obviously your barracks and the like as well. Um, next thing I would observe is what you've got in your barracks. Aren't really going to cause you any bother. Let, let be honest with yourself. When was the last time you know you're going on the attack and you come across a, a war factory that spews out a couple of Humvees or S13s? You're not exactly going to be worried, are you? Um, whereas if a tank comes out there, you know it's a lot harder to take out down a tank. So I would be changing the vehicles that you've got in there, mate, and really give somebody a bit more of a, a challenge. Um, you've already done it with your choppers, so why haven't you done it with your your, uh, your war factory yet? So get that looked at. Uh, in terms of uh, men in here, I would uh, use uh, potentially, uh, I, I quite like the um, the mortal men, I've got to be honest, that would be my uh, preference. Um, they do act like an up and over type sort of uh, you know firepower, so I really like that. Um, and if you notice, your walls are all nice and tight, so you know the principle of obviously uh, you know keeping that tight. So obviously it keeps all the vehicles in. I just think potentially you're using the wrong vehicles there. They're just not going to be a threat at all. Everything's got to be uh, you know dangerous, otherwise uh, it doesn't need to be in there. Um, so uh, observations personally, you've got no. Um, up and over firepower, uh, such as the uh, the mortimer, uh, not mortimer, sorry, forgive me, the um, the salvo uh, or the howitzer, 
the new Peacemaker is absolutely fantastic. I'm not quite sure where that fits in at your level yet, but you certainly get that looked at. So you're vulnerable from this side, so you need some mines in that side uh, at the very least. Uh, or get one of these turrets to be something like um, a howitzer, so you, you're protected from the back there. Um, so I would do that as well as a mine. Um, I would push your bases further out so that the spawn zones are all got rid of. I mean, look there, I'm, I'm literally going to spawn right on top of your helicopter. So you get helicopters just gone, isn't it? I mean, if I was tapping you now, I'm going to spawn there, helicopter gone. Um, I'd probably take a little bit of punishment, um, but if I, if I kind of... Perfect attack for you. Start from this corner. Go straight and get rid of the helicopter. Park about here. Fire over the top. Get rid of the uh, the flak. Uh, you're going to be outside the range of your um, rail gun. Uh, you can certainly uh, park a tank and get that machine gun to shoot the tank. And then I've got your war factory. And, and then you know it's all going a bit wrong from there. So because this spawn zone is so far pushed, you know, so far towards your base. You know, you're just giving somebody an, um, an absolute opportunity to take you out very, very early on, or at least do some damage. So, um, have a little think about how that might work. Push these out, uh, and then that should be a start for ten. But get the mines. You know, where where, where am I going to start from? So I'm going to start from about there. Put a mine there. If I'm going to come between these two buildings here, put a mine there. Uh, sorry, these two uh, rock outcrops. Uh, if you think you're going to be vulnerable from this side when you watch your video put a mine there so it's all about where they're going to come from again another perfect opportunity here um you can't go through the rocks when you're uh, when you're obviously uh, driving at people so they're going to have to go through the rocks so you could have a mine there do you know what i mean it's, it's that sort of level of thought that um, that you need um so you're not doing anything wrong there's just a few extra things you could do to be uh, over and above and make things even stronger um so what i'll do i'm going to post this in uh, your chat uh, for the others to look at as well because you'll be doing nothing different than those guys as well and you know if they want they can have a little look um, and that might get them thinking as well end up get there's a whole channel of, uh, of videos I've done uh, like this uh, for many other people as well which again you can spot some of the uh, common things um, and see if that helps cheers bro